Hi everyone, welcome to another wonderful and interesting video tutorial. I will be showing you how to achieve a ton paper effect using Corel Draw. Alright, um, like I always say, it's very simple and um, very very easy to do. Okay, um, before we proceed, if this is your first time visiting my channel, do all to hit on the subscribe button, turn on post notification bell to get notified whenever I upload new videos. And if you've been an active subscriber, thank you and um, keep on um, commenting and um, engaging on our videos. All right, um, let's hold on to Coral Draw. Okay. All right. Um, this is the interface for the Coral Draw 2020. All right, the software we're we'll making use of here. Okay, so I'll be making use of these images here to achieve the effect, the tone paper effect. All right. Um. These are the resources we're making use of. The ton paper here, and um, the image of a lion and this lady here. All right. Um, first of all, highlight them, then duplicate, drag, then uh, right-click to drop. Yeah. So duplicate them. We'll make use of them later. All right. Um. So. First of all, we'll make use of this um, lady here. Alright, so we'll make use of this paper here. Okay, alright. Okay, then this is how we'll do it now. Let's shift this a bit. Let's shift this. Alright. So this is what we'll do now. Okay. Alright. I see it's a high quality image HD all right high definition all right um I'll place I'll make it um, slant all right then um I bring this paper this um turn paper here and I hold on control then right click to drop all right I think um okay like this yeah, I think I we'll have to take it up a bit let's hold on shift and click on this uh, I click on it then yeah I think we'll find like this okay um, then once you've gotten the pattern you want to achieve your effect, your turn paper effect with then you head on to the toolbox, then you select the pen tool here. Alright, so this is what you do now. Then you follow this turn paper here, you just um, uh, placed on the image, click, then make sure the pen tool is being drawn and uh, is being followed within the turn paper here. Alright, so click and you keep following yeah yeah only zoom to get a clearer view a more clear view sorry all right okay and down down all right it's not that um big of a deal I think this is where the whole work is and how well you can think of creative ideas here. Yeah. Okay, I think we're making much progress here. Yeah. Keep clicking. Alright. Alright. We're almost true. Alright. Up until where you started here. Yeah. yeah. After the last node here, all right. Then click on the pick tool to refresh or two here. All right. So this is what we'll do now. You copy this image, right click, then you copy or Ctrl C, whichever one. Then right click, then you power clip this image into this um this object you just created using the pen tool here. Right click, then you power clip into this image. Alright, um, if you don't know how to power clip, 
I have a video in the description below you can take how to per clip I explained it um, in details and so you can check it here so for the sake of this video we'll just go straight to the point then per clip into here into this shape here all right then remember we copied this image right so even though you forgot to copy it you can just edit per clip then you copy then you exit then you paste but uh, we already copied too um there's no need so what we'll do now is paste ctrl v all right then page down shift page down or ctrl page down whichever one all right then we select this then remove outline i also have a video on how to move outline too so you can check that in the uh, description below there are different ways i explain this in details all right so you just right click this area or you hear none whichever one all right so we edit this per clip all right so we we'll turn this and uh, the image of our clip into the object we created here into a black and white object all right so we'll change the mode to sorry grayscale so not black and white grayscale all right then hold on control or you click on finish to exit per clip all right as you can see the tone paper effect has been achieved using this image here yeah? all right um makes more sense right so uh let's try using this image now let's try blending two images now and see what the outcome would be now all right okay so once you are done either you just crop as you can see Maybe once you are done, you can create uh, a frame and power clip this image into inside, or you just crop it depending on. You can just crop it whichever one you prefer. So, I think we're cool with it. So, hope you understand. All right. So let's head on to this one now. Okay. Um. We'll make use of this power clip image here. Yeah? All right, so page up, then um, object, order to front of page. All right, so we'll make this one vertical. All right, um, I think we should use this one. This one looks much more thicker. All right. So hold on control then until it's vertical. Alright. Think it's fine like this. You can still adjust and you drag it down. Alright. So this is what we do. We'll make use of the pen tool just like usual. And we follow this pattern. So let's undo that. Follow the pattern. All right. Follow the pattern until it goes round to meet um the node you started from. All right. So so like I said, this is only where the stress is, and depend on how creative you can be. All right. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yes, makes sense. All right. All right. Yeah, to the last node here. Okay. So, um this is what we'll do now. Okay, this one I don't think there's any need to copy. So, here's what we'll do. We'll park this image inside here. Like I said before, I have a video on how I explained how to park clip thoroughly in Corel Draw, so you can check that out in the um, description and you power clip here all right so edit this power clip so edit the power clip here okay i think this makes much sense no so to 
edit this power clip without actually entering it you can hold on alt so for the sake of this video hold on alt so you can see what we are doing and you drag i think um it almost fits this image here yeah? they're almost perfect okay then um drag all right so you can see their nose and their lips are together so remove the outline i also have a video on how to move outline properly in Corel Draw. so just right click here i think it's off okay so once you're done maybe you can just crop it or you can create a frame whichever one you prefer just hold on click on the image hold on shift and double click all right so you can take away the frame here then power clip inside then you highlight and control g then you power clip this image inside of here and edit all right i think we're making progress here all right so adjust as you can see the remove outline i take it off all right um i think this is it remember i told you on how to do away with um the uh, this outline here either you create a frame or you power clip whichever one Alright guys, so that is it on how to achieve the torn paper effect using Corojo. As you can see, it's very simple and um, very very easy to do. So I've um, tried it with several other images like this. As you can see, it's a very simple process. Like some of this one again. I tried it with this lady here. As you can see, it looks very realistic. And I tried with this one too. All right, so this one too, it's very easy too. So um, let me explain how I did it now. Okay, um, once you've just once you've created uh, your uh, object using the pen tool, then instead of putting same image inside, you make use of uh, an object or an animal which you prefer. So in this case, I use a tiger here. So you can replace it with any other image you intend depending on how creative you can be all right guys um that is it on how to achieve the torn paper effect using coral draw and also i'll be attaching the resources i use in achieving this um effect so you can check that and download in the description below okay um if you find this video helpful, do all to hit on the subscribe button, turn on post notification bell to get notified whenever I upload new videos. Don't forget to like, share, and comment on our videos. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video tutorial.